special case I'm not like the other ones There is a reason Why I'm still alone If you want to stick around You need to ask yourself Are you an Obama man? Can you take me as I am? You think you made me special Baby, I'll never change for someone else Hey guys, we're checking in here at the Bone Tactical headquarters here in sunny South Florida. You guys have seen some of these videos before, but we've changed quite a bit. As you can see behind me, I am going to show you my office here real quick, and then I'll show you the facility where we do all the shipping from. All right. I do some filming and auto audio vis, vid, visual <laughs> audio visual in this office right here. There is the currently in stock and shipping weapons right there on the wall behind me. I'll show you really quickly. We're getting super low in stock. So I do apologize that we don't have as much as we maybe sometimes do, but it's getting a little bit difficult to keep these in stock. So this is what we've got right now. But this is my office right here. This is where I either answer your emails or don't. And when I don't, it's usually this young lady, Sierra, who's helping me out with answering some emails. So we should all be thanking her because you guys are getting responses. <laughs> and I'm not great at it, but here's the, the currently in stock and stuff that we've got, guys. Pretty crazy. Last year, I think we pushed through about $500,000 worth of products. This year, I'm definitely going to do a million. We'll see what we can do above and beyond that. My goals are, are to sell a million dollars, not just have a million dollars come through the shop. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell. It's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty lofty goal, but you got to set your goals high, right? Here's the EDC Kanks. We got a few in stock. The, I, th I believe there's some empty boxes up here. We've kind of been making and stocking up on the boxes. Uh, they're a little faster to make than the knives. But these are the karambits we have currently in stock. There's a couple tie kanks there. There's, here's the Bloody Bill Bowies that we have in stock. All right, we've got some of the bone breakers and this is survival gear here. Sierra, um, I won't get too close to these packages so you can't see people's addresses, but Sierra's packing up some orders right now. We've got over here, we've got the wallets and traveler's money belts and stuff like that. There's backup stuff down in these things down below me here. We've got tape and assorted accessories in here. We've got, you know, extra first aid kits and shamogs and backpacks and, you know, more survival stuff here. This is the mailers we've got in here. This is all t-shirts. All right, guys, we've got, uh, we're going to restock t-shirts here very soon, but we're very low on t-shirts, unfortunately. You can see how low we are on the tomahawks. We're just crazy low. These, these handmade knives just take so long to make, guys. There's so much that goes into them. They're, you know, we're the best in the industry when it comes to tomahawks. We make the strongest and sharpest tomahawks that is, that's out there, the most effective, all right, by far, uh, the... The only downside is right now we can't keep them in stock. So we're sold out of the modern. We do have a few of these beautiful, look at these handles, guys. Look at these Coco Bolo handles. That's just, every time I look at these, I don't want to sell them. So I'm uh, every time I walk in here, I consider telling Sierra, take them off the website. I'm just going to keep those. <laughs> but can't do that, unfortunately. These are mahogany. These are those uh, breachers up there. Let me see if I can zoom in on those. Those are some of the older model breachers, which they're beautiful. We, we, we got those squared away, so they're every bit as good as the new ones. There's a slight design change. As you guys know, everything we do is small batch. But those handles are mahogany, all right? And they're stained. There's a bit of stain color on there to give it that really cool look that it has. Let's see if you guys can see that. That's a, that's a stain. These, believe it or not, this Coco Bolo is such a rich wood that there's no stain on there whatsoever. That's the natural color of the wood. There's nothing on there. That's just sanded, okay, to a fine grit sandpaper. I think we hit it with a little bit of matte Cerakote on those, which is literally a matte color, so it makes it less shiny. <laughs> and it's still shiny just because the wood's so beautiful. The This is the 
coffee bag material. We're out of coffee right now, by the way, but we've got more on the way from the coffee farm or coffee farm in Honduras. And so we're looking here at the coffee bag material on the handle and the very last bone breacher. Okay, so that might be sold by the time we get this video out. They're big, they're bad, they're beautiful. You can see the, the size comparison right there between the two and uh, how much different they are in size. The jerseys are over here. Okay, Sierra's shipping station. That is a work in progress. I am kind of just building cool stuff as we go with this little area. We're utilizing these old tables right now. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to build something cool out of wood as the business continues to grow and I can justify doing that. Cool little back history on this. This is some pine from a warehouse in Miami that is over a hundred years old. So it's uh, old Miami Dade pine that, uh, that you don't get to see too much of anymore. You can tell it's mill cut. They don't sell pine slabs that large at Home Depot. So it's just, just kind of a cool little, cool little detail. I was able to, to get that wood sourced and, and just have a cool, you know, a little bit old Florida in the shop there. Us, we're, we're all Florida natives here at Bone Tactical and we like weird stuff like that. So that's what you got in there. I'll sign out here in my office. I again would love to hear you guys' feedback, questions and comments below. If you like these awesome videos and you wanna be notified when I post more, then you need to go to my channel homepage on YouTube. You need to click the subscribe button, but not only that, then you have to go over here to the bell. You gotta click the bell and then you click all. If you don't do that, YouTube won't notify you when I'm putting up this awesome new content. Apart from being shadow banned on <laughs> so many platforms, we're doing the best we can to keep you guys informed and keep pumping out the information and to show you guys the behind the scenes, stay transparent, stay honest. Uh, we're the, we just cleaned out the container of donation items. So thank you guys for the donation help. We just cleaned out all the boxes of donation items out of the warehouse. So it's now just products. Those donation items are on the way to Honduras right now. And I'm going to fly down in a few days and, and maybe, uh, by the time this video posts, it'll take me a couple days to edit it, so maybe I'll already be down there, but flying down to, to give out the, the donation items. Thank you for all your support, guys. It's much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bone out.